What's up guys? Have we ever like actually took a big self-evaluation and looked in the mirror or looked deep into ourselves and realized that what we're doing to ourselves our own fault? Because for so long like we want to blame everything on everyone else and um Blame it on addiction, blame it on a friend, blame it on a family member, blame it on how you like grew up or trauma things that have happened in your life. Like I get it. I get traumatic experiences. Trust me on that one. I mean, I've been handed some pretty tough things in my life. And so my self-evaluation has been to I can't blame my life experiences on my drinking behavior. I have to do what's best for me. I have to realize that there are generational cycles to break. There are traumatic experiences to overcome. Things that I don't talk about. Things that, you know, I bottle up. And then, you know, when you evaluate yourself and learn that like the blame game, it can't work for life. You can't just keep saying, well, I'm drinking because like something that happened to me when I was three years old or my dad was this or my mom was this or my friend did this to me or my job did this to me. Like self-evaluation is totally crucial in growth, in your mindset, sobriety. I get we all have a freaking life that a lot of, there's lots of pain that nobody talks about. There's lots of things that like hold us back, emotional roller coasters that we have to live with on our own. But that's why when you look deep in yourself and self-evaluation and not playing the blame game is key to becoming that better version of yourself. I mean, I can sit here and say something that happened to me in 2022, like forever is going to be altering, but guess what? I realized that I can't sit here and constantly let that bring me down. Yeah, I had definitely a few months of a pity party and all the heartache that it caused. But when you evaluate the situation and realize that maybe like as hard as it was, maybe the po there was a positive in it. Like for me, it was, I got to be home with my kids again. I got to be there in the mornings. I didn't have to rush off to work. I didn't have to stress about taking care of everybody else and fixing their life. I actually got to like focus on my family and myself. I can sit here and blame that person day in, day out. Justice will be served elsewhere, but coming down to it, like I started getting into a really bad cycle. I wasn't putting my family first. I wasn't doing Emma's hair before school and it was just hard. And when I look back and I was the drinker, I was the fun one. Everybody looked at me like they looked up to me for fitness and health, but nobody looked up to me for ins inspiration for bettering our life or never really motivated people to do anything better with themselves. I just was still like the fit drunk one. But nowadays I look back and when you realize that when you stop blaming others for your problems and face it head on, your life changes. So many things change. You can actually see the positive in things. Maybe you had a horrible upbringing, but then you can take that positivity and be, I ended up raising a phenomenal child throughout the traumatic experiences that I had in my life growing up, or some of you had an alcoholic parent and, and some of them actually died from alcohol, but those children are grown families of their own 
and don't drink because of those issues that they had and they don't want to go down like that same generational cycle when we break generational cycles it is so hard but it's so worth it for our families you can point fingers at everybody but the one that you don't point the finger at usually is yourself and you are the one that is in control of your life you're the one that gets to make those decisions for yourself you can't expect people to do it for you yeah sure there's many things that i would love for people to do for me but my life is in my hands and i can sit here and live and dwell and have a pity party on everything bad that's happened in my life or i can use it for motivation and inspiration and empowerment like i'm doing this for me for my family enjoying it there's a whole nother life out there besides pity and blame just look in the mirror realize that <laughs> you aren't the only one that has gone through any of this stuff in life but you are the only one that can choose to make it better for yourself for your life for your family, for your future family, for your kids, for your grandkids. It starts with us. We can't live in the past. We can't keep saying it was their fault. They did this, they did that. They did this to me. This is why I am the way I am. Let it go, work on yourself. <laughs> Look in the mirror, realize what you have around you. How amazing is your life actually? And are you the one destroying what could be with your future relationships with your family? Are you the one that can't grow in your job because you aren't putting your best foot forward? I was the one that never grew because I was so stagnant with holding myself back, with like not having the confidence because alcohol tore me down so much, but I was the one to blame. So quit playing the blame game and put your foot forward take a huge self-evaluation and look deep inside with everything around you and realize that there are some positive things in life even though like you may have given the shit hand of things but what do you want for your life do you want to be miserable for the rest of your life until the day you die or do you want to look at yourself and realize that <laughs> there's so much more to life than sitting consumed in a bottle because let me tell you I was going down that route and life is a heck of a lot better now that I have let go of alcohol faced those pointing fingers faced this trauma faced that and healing is hard healing is worth it you just got to do it you can't alcohol is not going to heal you sorry but alcohol is not going to be any part of your healing process as bad as you want it. It's just gonna make you more depressed, give you more anxiety, tear your relationships apart even more. But you can blame those people for not wanting to be in your life, because, but it's because of alcohol. Have you ever thought like maybe if you put the bottle down, like you can stop blaming those people and they'll actually come around? I mean, I had people not come around to me because of alcohol and now I understand, now I understand how annoying it is to be around obnoxious people drinking. I was that person and I feel so much better that I can like go into a room and not be the obnoxious one anymore. Not be the one that's like, oh, Megan's drinking. <laughs> well, how's she gonna act tonight? No, now it's, <laughs> take a look in the mirror. Are people questioning you on, oh, how's this person gonna act tonight? Oh, don't wanna be around them because, <laughs> well, who knows how they're gonna act. Quit blaming it on everybody else. Blame it on yourself and fix it. You're the only one that can fix your problems. You're the only one that feels the things that you felt and lived through those traumatic experiences. But you lived through it. You got through it. So why not get over that bridge? quit letting alcohol control your life and blaming it on everyone around you 
because sure is not going to solve your problems for you. Didn't solve my problems. Quitting drinking solved my problems. And now I was the one to blame for all the things that went wrong in my life. But because I was the one that had to choose how to react and how to stop blaming everybody around me. So, if you're liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe, and hopefully we can start trending towards turning more people to sobriety.